Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone and welcome if you're new to my channel. I did Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. Let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. And if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can have a look at one of my other readings. These readings are timeless. Let's see what message comes through. Wow, um, this this divine masculine, whoever this resonates for, this this reading is a little bit different. Uh, this masculine, this is somebody who enjoyed having a love triangle, like they they enjoyed having this karmic person interested in love with them. They enjoyed having divine feminine in love with them, and. When this Divine Feminine decided, I see here, when Divine Feminine decided to walk away, to detach themselves, to, it's like, I don't want to be part of this love triangle. I don't want to be part of this, this situation. It's time for me to just let it go. I'll just let you two be with, with each other. If this is a Divine Feminine who walked away and it's like, here, you can be with with them if that's the person you want to be with be with them i don't see it out of anger i just see that divine feminine you started to feel whatever the situation was as draining for you you did it for yourself you put yourself first so divine feminine turned their back on the situation because they did it for themselves they wanted to become more stronger and they wanted to focus on their self-worth. I feel like when you were with, with Divine Masculine during this love triangle, this situation, because I see it as a, a love triangle here. That's why I'm saying that term. This Divine Feminine, they felt like less than or not worthy of love. Something about they start to feel sad about themselves and they don't want to feel that way anymore. So this divine feminine decided to, okay, if you also have feelings for this karmic person, divine masculine, if you also cannot decide between the two, let me make the decision for you. Let me make that decision for you. I'll be on my way. You stood up for yourself. You st stood up for self-love, self-worth, and you move forward. So what happened to this Divine Masculine? They didn't expect that from you. They didn't expect that you would choose yourself. And this took them off guard. This Divine Masculine. They thought that you would always be there. It's like, oh, if things doesn't work out with the karmic person, I have divine feminine. If things doesn't work out with divine feminine, I have the karmic person. They always thought that if this divine masculine thought that if they had karmic person and divine feminine, the two, that there will always be a backup plan. But when divine feminine walked away, it's like, you're just left with the karmic person. Either it works or it doesn't. So this divine mask can start to feel like they've lost some sort of, I feel like control over the situation. They lost control over the situation. It's like, wow, it's no longer in my hands now. They thought that they had the two. Because whoever this divine feminine is, you didn't leave the impression that Okay, if things don't work out, I'll always love you, Divine Masculine. You can always return. You didn't do that. You stood in your power as a queen. And you're like, this is my decision. I'm gone. Bye. You left. This is a Divine Feminine. And I feel like even though in your heart you still love Divine Masculine, you still felt like, okay, if things don't work out, 
I will talk to Divine Masculine. Even if that was in the back of your mind, you did not express that. You show Divine Masculine that I'm choosing me. And at the time, I feel like you did choose yourself. You're very strong and you chose yourself, your self-love, self-worth. And you wanted to do what was best for you at the time. So you walked away. So I see here Divine Feminine turning their back. It's like, turn around. It's like, I'm on my path now. So you move towards your path. Now, what happened with Divine Masculine here? We'll go into that. Now, Divine Masculine and this karmic person. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what I just saw is it's just so strange to me. Okay. So now Divine Feminine, you're out of the picture, right? Divine Feminine has left the building. Now, Divine Masculine and this karmic person is like, hmm, we have this quiet time now. Now it's just the two of us. Let's get to know each other. And I see here Divine Masculine putting in full effort, a lot of effort in trying to transform the relationship between themselves and this karmic person into love. It's like what they thought love should be like because they experienced love with you. They felt love with you. They know what love feels like with you, Divine Feminine. So the things that they had experienced with you, they're trying to, I see here, trying to transform the connection between them and karmic person, transform them and create that love that they experienced with you. You see how that's why I reacted in that way? It's pretty much like they try to replace you with this person. It's like, okay, now I don't have divine feminine. Let me try to reenact or to... I feel like recreate the moments, the feelings, the expressions of love that they experience with you. Let me recreate that with this person. But hello, this person is somebody different. This is somebody completely different. It's like you can't, you can't like, okay, I'm going to use ice cream as, a, as an example because I love ice cream. Okay. You can't order an ice cream cone and expect it to taste like chocolate. Right. This is what this Divine Masculine is doing. Divine Masculine is with somebody completely different. And they were trying to rebuild or to recreate the moments, the feelings, the love that they experienced with Divine Feminine with this karmic person. It's like, it feels kind of like to replace you. It's like, okay. And I feel it has a lot to do with the ego, ego stepping in. Because when this Divine Masculine was with this karmic person, it was, so when there was that love triangle, right? So Divine Masculine, the karmic person, Divine Feminine, when it was three of you in the picture, this Masculine, the connection relationship that they had with the karmic person, person was very playful. I see here a playful energy, not love. The foundation was not love, not built off of love. There was no expression of love. It shows here a playful energy, something to take lightly not too hard. But when they were with you, there was a lot of expression of love. There was exchange of love because you were showering love upon your divine masculine. Divine masculine was, it feels like mirroring it back. And I feel some of the moments were real because when you were expressing love to them, they could not help. It's like they could not help it but to express love to you. You're just so beautiful, so kind. It's like, I cannot, I cannot hold these feelings back. I need to express it as well. They may not have expressed it as, as intensely as you did, like not as strongly as you did, but they did give it back in some way. But they didn't experience that with this person, karmic person, because that energy, that relationship they had with them was completely different. So now that Divine Feminine walked away, pulled themselves out of the picture. Divine Masculine wanted to now revisit those feelings. But it's like, okay, Divine Feminine is not here. That's okay. I have this karmic person. I can build the relationship with them. I can experience this love and this kind of like expression of love with this karmic person. But I see here Divine Masculine trying to transform and change the relationship the, the dynamic of the relationship with this karmic person by expressing a lot of love that they have received and 
that they have experience with divine feminine. So they try to share it with this person. It's like it's not the same. It's not strawberry ice cream. It's it's not the same. So this divine masculine, I see here, no wish fulfillment. Eh, no wish fulfillment. Did their plan work? Eh, didn't work. Did they transform the situation with this karmic? Eh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Decline. And I see here, lack of knowledge, lack of understanding of what they were experiencing in, experiencing in the relationship with this karmic person. It's like they didn't really think about it. They didn't use their intuition. They didn't even use their intellect. It didn't make sense logically at all. I don't know where this masculine gets their ideas from, but I see here that they didn't really think about it. They just assumed that if it worked with Divine Feminine, if if we had this kind of relationship, this love, I can rebuild that love again. I can rebuild it, but with somebody else. What makes you think that you will experience the exact same emotions, exact same love, experience, intensity in love with somebody else just because you are revisiting or just because you are trying to, you know, I feel like reenact certain situations with this karmic person? It will be a totally different response because it's not divine feminine. It's a totally different person. It's like, say if the, the, this divine masculine for divine feminine, like say if they gave you a, you know, a red rose, one red rose, divine feminine, most likely their reaction would be, they would be grateful. They will have gratitude. They will show appreciation. They will show love for this rose, for the, the gesture, right? To divine masculine, they will show love. They will express love. It's such a beautiful rose you've given me. And then they'll plan what to do with this rose, right? Most likely, when you receive a flower, you will plan on what to do with it. Where should I put it? Should I, should I, maybe I should get a vase or a vase or, and, you know, try to put it in the most perfect place so that I can enjoy this beautiful rose given by my divine masculine. Yes, many of you, I'm sure you agree. But with this karmic person, if they gave the same red rose to this karmic person, it's like, that's it. Like, this is going to die. It's just like one, you know, rose. Like, couldn't you have brought me a bouquet? And, and why this rose? Like, you know, I like this kind of flower. Why didn't you get me this? Or why didn't you bring chocolates? Or do you have anything planned after this? Or is it just this one rose? Are we going out? Are we going out for dinner? It's like, oh, my past, my past boyfriend or my past girlfriend used to give me this, this, and this. See, so it's totally different. It doesn't matter what Divine Masculine does. It's, just, it's a different person. They're going to respond a different way. They're going to react a different way because they're not the Divine Feminine. So this Divine Masculine, I see here putting in full effort, trying to transform the relationship between them and a karmic person into love, the love that they have experienced with Divine Feminine, but they didn't get it. I see here, no wish fulfillment, no love, no knowledge or information, intellect or intuition, not, not using their intuitive knowing This is somebody who is just doing their own thing, thinking that it will work. So I see here with this divine masculine, so other things that happened in the karmic and masculine situation, that there was a time where this divine masculine started to build. So this masculine may have bought a house. They may have moved into a new home. And they tried to balance it out. They were very busy trying to maintain that home or that lifestyle. This masculine may have even overworked or worked a lot or didn't enjoy. Like, I feel like they didn't even enjoy their home or they still don't enjoy their home. Meaning that, like, say if they moved into a new place, they don't have a moment to just sit down on the couch and just, like, relax. This is somebody who is constantly moving. And I feel like whatever they did, 
it was something that was a little bit more than what they could that they could uh, manage and whatever they did was to not for themselves but i feel like it was because whatever the whatever the other person wanted them to do so say if the divine masculine because this is what i'm getting whoever this resonates for say if this divine masculine was living in a house a perfect perfect house cute house you know it's more than enough like all the things that Divine Masculine needs to have a good life is in that house. This karmic person may have persuaded this Divine Masculine, let's move from here. Let's get a bigger house. A better, a better house. Let's get one with better, like, I feel like appliances and, um, you know, a bigger yard, that kind of thing. Let's, let's go one up. And I feel like they didn't go one up. I feel like they went way above what Divine Masculine is, I feel like, able to manage. And because of that, it requires Divine Masculine to do a lot of extra work to manage that new house or new place. I see here, it's not what it seems to be. It's a beautiful house. It looks beautiful. Some of you may even know about this house. Some of you may have seen it. That your masculine is, wow, I didn't know masculine moved. I didn't know masculine bought a new house. I don't. I didn't know masculine got this or got that. It's something that is of material that is very, I feel like, the word high maintenance is coming in. So something that it's very difficult to maintain, but they are doing it for the sake of doing it to to hold on to it and I see here whatever this choice that this masculine made it is not it is not a winner let's just say that it's not a winner it's not as good of an idea that that this divine masculine thought it would be I see here really busy just to maintain that that life that lifestyle that home whatever it is and it involves a lot of spending I see here this divine masculine, the choice that they made, because it's it shows here it was made, the choice that they made involved a lot of spending. This happened, I see here, this happened, and a lot of divine feminine doesn't know that, they don't know about divine masculine's lifestyle. They might have some idea, but they don't know the to what extreme this masculine went. I feel like money-wise, there's a lot of spending here, a lot of hard work. This masculine is tired. This masculine, I feel like they're trying to keep up, keep up with the lifestyle. And because many people who are connected to Divine Masculine currently have seen this Divine Masculine living this, I feel like it's what they consider luxury, Divine Masculine feels obligated to stay. It's like, I don't want people to see me like, even if they can't manage what they are doing, they don't want people to see them fail. It's like, if I have to move out of this place, it's going to make me look like a failure. If I have to downsize, like downsize my home or my lifestyle, it's like, what will people think of me? So I feel like they did it for mostly for this person, this karmic person whoever they may be so karmic person can be a family member a friend it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic partner but in this case i i feel it is some relationship here they did it for this person to make them happy because this is something they really wanted right and now it's like they're trying to keep keep up with it because now everybody has seen this lifestyle. It's like now everyone knows where I live, what kind of place I'm living in, what kind of car I have, what kind of job I have, and I need to keep up with this. I need to keep up with this lifestyle, with this illusion, even though it's, it's something that cannot be easily managed. I feel like it's way beyond their means kind of thing. 
So masculine is feeling stuck. Oh, I do see here, Divine Feminine, you have this inner knowing. This, You have this inner knowing. You are intuitively guided and you have this inner knowing that this is what's happening with your masculine at this time. So some of you do know. You have the sense of masculine is stuck in some kind of like situation where they are, you know, trying to keep up in some sort of lifestyle where they can't manage on their own. They're managing somehow on their own, but I feel like it, they're juggling somehow. So it's like juggling to make payments. Um, there's no time for enjoyment. Like this masculine cannot have a vacation. Like they can't take one day off. Like if they take one day off, that means that they, that the next day they have, you know, two loads of work to do. It's like the work has doubled. It's like they've fallen behind. So it's like they don't want to take any chance of falling behind. So they just work, work, work. I see here this masculine is quite busy and it's not the life that they imagine for themselves. Some of them, they may have thought that by this time, I'll be able to have a life where I can relax, enjoy. Yes, you could have had that with your divine feminine. Yes, because your divine feminine and you, I mean, the essence of you two, you have that within you two to build, to grow, to to prosper together. And I feel like the moment Divine Feminine in this reading, the moment you walked away, a lot of the blessings, a lot of the abundance, so abundance in different aspects of their life, you took it with you. It's like you took... You took it all with you because you stayed in your energy. You stayed in that energy of walking in the divine path. And because divine masculine, I feel like they took the, there's another route that this divine masculine took that was not in alignment with their divine purpose. It's like, why would the divine, bless divine masculine with divine abundance blessings or to draw in positive things that are meant for the divine path when they were not on it it's like you're not ready to receive these things because you're on a different path so in the meantime i feel some of the things that were meant to be for divine masculine it's like divine feminine they are coming to you why it's not because you're going to receive everything. And it's like, aha, I got divine masculine stuff too. I got divine masculine <laughs> blessings too. No, it's not that. It's just like, it's kind of like you are protecting it until the time comes when it can be released to divine masculine. So some things that are meant for your divine masculine will be received by divine feminine. It's coming towards you. It's like in the meantime, you will be kind of like the guardian of certain things that are meant for your masculine because of the path divine masculine has taken. And once this divine masculine realigns themselves on the path with you, and I feel like some of these blessings, they are not in physical form, but because they are, let's say, energetically, energetically in form. When you two are drawn towards each other, divine masculine returns on their divine path as in alignment with divine feminine. There will be an energetic exchange of the gifts that were meant for divine masculine. It's like now I've guard this energetically. Now I'm releasing this to divine masculine here. It's like here, this is the energetic exchange. This is the release that is meant for you. These blessings were meant for you. This gift was meant for you. I was just guardian. I was just gu the guardian until the time for you to consciously become aware of your divine purpose, your divine path, and coming into alignment energetically with, with our journey. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like this reading, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye.